Hey everybody, I know it's been a minute. I want to give you an update on the transits for this week, November 7th through the 13th. First and foremost, November 9th through the 12th, we'll be having Mercury and Scorpio conjunct Mars and Scorpio. Mercury is the sign of the mind. It tells us about articulating our thoughts and Mars gives us the energy and the willpower and in the, you know, oomph we need to truly express ourselves and have the confidence and, you know, aggression. Because sometimes we need that aggression and assertiveness to help us, you know, communicate our thoughts and ideas, especially those in regards to transformation and, and you know, transmutation. Because the sign of Scorpio is about transformation and transmutation, you know, so you can also, during this time, think of new ways to assert yourself because those are the themes of Mercury and Mars. Also, we have Mars and Scorpio, square Saturn and Aquarius. Now, the square aspect demands that we change the direction in which we are asserting ourselves. Again, Mars rules how we assert ourselves. You know, Scorpio is the sign of control. Saturn and Aquarius asks us to let go of some of that control when we try to assert ourselves. It's okay to assert yourself, state your point, but don't be so stuck in in asserting yourself because Scorpio and Aquarius are both fixed signs. You don't want to be so stuck in asserting yourself and, you know, a certain change and transformation or control on other people that it breaks your own foundation of freedom. Because Aquarius is a sign of freedom. And when you are constantly trying to have control of other people and other situations, you lose your freedom. We also have on the 10th, November 10th, Mercury squaring Saturn in Aquarius. So, again, you need to change your thoughts and ideas. The square demands that you change your thoughts and ideas about control and about how other people control your freedom. You know, stripping away the unnecessary ideas about your your own personal, you know, innovativeness and ability to establish your own self in an original, unique way, which is represented by Saturn and Aquarius. You know, you have to change some of the ideas that you have in regards to personal transformation. You don't always have to lose your identity in order to change, but you also have to be willing to surrender some ideas about who you are in order to really become who you need to be. This gives us, you know, a good time to, to utilize the next aspect, which is a trine, and trines make things really easy for us to accomplish. On November 12th, the sun in Scorpio, consciousness, conscious of your power, your transformation, you know, cycles of rebirth, trying Neptune, the planet of spirituality. You know, trying Neptune in its home sign of Pisces. You know, this is going to this energy is going to make it easy for those of us who want to change spiritually. Now, you got to pay attention to, to your house placement, wherever, wherever the sun is transiting your house. Whatever Scorp house has Scorpio on the cusp and the degree matching degree of the sun, that's what the house is going to affect. Same thing with, with Neptune. You know, the sun trying Neptune is going to be a great opportunity, especially both being in water signs. Scorpio and Pisces are water signs. Transforming ideas about spirituality. Transforming your relationship with your higher self. You know, taking control of your spiritual path. And then on the 13th, we have Mercury in Scorpio opposite Uranus in Taurus. You know, Uranus is the planet of innovation and it also is the planet of sudden accidents. So the 12th and the 13th, you can expect, you know, issues when traveling. You know, some some Internet cyber attacks, communication, you know, snafus. Just be prepared that you don't get lost in the in the sudden actions and unexpected events that are brought about by this Mercury and Uranus opposition on the 13th. Again, this has to do with paperwork, communication, technology, Internet, 
be ready. Be ready. And it might affect the financial sector because Taurus is the original sign that occupies the second house of money, value, self-worth, movable goods. You might see, you know, even a good thing coming from the, the Mercury Uranus opposition, a breakup of all the, you know, congestion at the ports because Mercury rules commerce. So I hope you guys take advantage of the information provided and use use the energy that the universe presents to you to manifest the life that you want. I'll be back at you guys soon on video and with, with more stuff. Thank you for your patience. Peace.